Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog. How the fuck are we doing today, guys? I'm doing sexy and awesome. Thanks for always asking. Fireworks should be shooting off everywhere. Ow. <laughs> oh, you little turd burglar. Oh, I just fucking banged my elbow. Oh, it's my funny bone. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, the bananas. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's gone. Woo! Oh, I'm actually sweating a little bit right now. God damn it, that fucking hurts. <laughs> It, it was like a, it was like an orgasm that didn't stop. <laughs> Have you guys ever experienced that? All right. Anyways, um, um, today I upload a new video to my IRL channel. I spoke in a foreign language. Yes. In case you guys did not know, Nightmare Age can speak many languages, so I utilize that in one of my videos. But otherwise, I uploaded a new Bungus video late last night. Going to be uploading a new uh, video today, um, basically with some dickheadness. Um, then probably most likely another fucking video later in the evening. Tomorrow, going to be making a fucking shit up video. Hooray! Oh yes, and by the way... This weekend is double minigame uh, Dungeoneering bonus EXP Scrabadanza. I will not be on this weekend to play RuneScape, so I have been fucked in my asshole once again. It is okay, my friends. There will be a day where Nightmare Age fucks the living shit out of Jagex. <laughs> I don't know when it's going to be, but there will be a day. <laughs> oh, yes, indeedy. All right, so anyways, um, fucking, as you see on the Dungeoneering bung board behind us, uh, we got about, I'd say about near 400,000 Dungeoneering EXP yesterday. Did a, did a shit ton of smalls, did uh, some abandoned, uh, large abandons, got some, you know, pretty decent amount of EXP. It's just I can only do so many floors, and then I get fucking tired of it. And, you know, I, I just get tired in general. If I do, you know, I like... There are motherfuckers that will do four hours of rushes, or rather just like an hour and a half of rushes. You know, they do like 30 rushing floors, and then they go ahead and do 10 larges. I cannot fucking do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really can't. Um, I have other shit I need to accomplish. <laughs> but anyways, tonight, my goal is to maybe get around another 400,000 EXP. My goal is to get 106 by... Um, Probably most likely Saturday. So if I get a lot done tonight, then I can get fucking... Oh, God, I just farted. Oh, God. Oh, God, there I go again. Oh, it was a silent one. Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, so hopefully I get a good chunk tonight. Um, that's basically pretty much about it in general. Uploaded new videos on my gaming channel. <laughs> yeah, that's basically about it. All right, otherwise, last night I watched a movie on Netflix called Dead Season. I do not recommend it at all. It was a shitty zombie movie. <laughs> it was one of those low-budget zombie-type movies, but still. I have seen a lot of low-budget zombie movies. Zombie strippers. <laughs> There are so many better fucking low-budget zombie movies in this shithole movie. So, if you guys see it, it just if you want my honest review and opinion on it, it was shit. <laughs> Actually, shit probably has more shit in it than this fucking movie did. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about party hats in general, and I'm still goddamn sweating. Fucking goddamn funny bone. Ooh, it hurts. So fucking bad. Not to mention uh, this morning, or rather literally like an hour and a half ago, I had to get my blood drawn, uh, basically for some blood work for my uh, tonsillitis being removed and shit. Uh, it was, uh, I, afterwards, I drove my happy ass to Subway. Yeah, I, I got a uh, foot long tuna. But anyways, okay, party hats. Um, pretty sure it's everybody's dream. Or, um, well, this is probably one of people's RuneScape fantasies in general. Not really so much mine because it's, you know, owning a party hat is awesome and amazing and sexy and it does make your character look awesome and, you know, cool and stuff, but it really doesn't do it anymore for me. I, I've seen too many people with party hats, it, it just it really doesn't bother I mean, it really doesn't affect me anymore, you know? Um, yeah, it's a party hat is all for looks and shit, but as for me, when I first got my party hat, I wore it fucking everywhere. 
Even when I was killing shit, I still fucking wore it. Um, now, it's like, you know, the only times I really wear it is to make videos or do whatever. I normally run around naked doing farming runs because I want nothing on my body to decrease my run faster and shit. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, otherwise, yeah. So, pretty sure, though, if somebody came up to you and offered you a free party hat, would you take it? Absolutely! If some random ass motherfucker came up to you on this game and said, Hey, here's a free party hat. Just take it. Take it and get away. <laughs> don't ever talk to me again. Just take it and leave. I don't want it. I don't want your syphilis. Go away! Yes, I'm pretty sure all you guys would basically say, Hey, I want to take the fucking party hats. Me... I really would have to question it. One is because I would have to... Well, first of all, if it was a purple dot, or rather orange dot, or rather some dot in general. Or, most likely, I'd say... Probably most likely 9 out of 10 people that fucking approach me on this game are probably most likely fans. So by me taking a free party hat, it's, it really depends on what the purpose is going to be of that fucking party hat and shit. I already have one party hat. You have one party hat is no different. Having a purple party hat is no different than a blue party hat. The only difference is that there's fucking gigantic, you know, vagina gapage. <laughs> gapage um, in the price. That, that's really all about it. Otherwise, um, a blue party hat is, is no, it's a different color. A party hat is a party hat, goddammit. Kind of like a fucking Lamborghini is a Lamborghini. Doesn't matter if you buy a, 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 a 1990 Lamborghini or a 2012 Lamborghini. A Lamborghini is a fucking Lamborghini. Um, but anyways, yeah. Um, pretty sure every single person on this game would take a free party hat. And yes, I mean, have I ever seen somebody get offered a fucking party hat before? Uh, yeah, I've seen plenty of motherfuckers get offered a party hat. Like, for example, if you guys remember probably about, like, think it was about fucking I can't even remember it was about like maybe two and a half years has it been that long I, I think it has been about two and a half years um this one guy was basically quitting RuneScape and uh he wanted to donate a party hat to me to basically do it like a giveaway and shit uh, some of you guys basically have been asking me if I'm doing any more giveaways probably most likely not uh just because it's it's more so the simple fact that YouTube really doesn't like them uh, not to mention, yeah, I mean, that's basically pretty much about it. There are a lot of scam giveaways out there. Um, as you guys basically see in rooms, there's a lot of scams everywhere, whether it's in real life, whether it's on the internet, but on YouTube, especially when giving away free shit, th there are a lot of fucking scams out there. Um, so YouTube basically says, okay, you know, it's fuck you screensaver. Um, rather than us, you know, looking at every single thing individually, we're just making no more giveaways in general. But anyways, if you guys remember, this individual gave me a fucking party hat to basically say, hey, you know, do it in a giveaway. And I'm like, alright. Uh, basically gave him a shout out and stuff, and that was basically pretty much all he wanted. Uh, but as for keeping a party hat, I, I really, me personally, I really have no use for another party hat. But as for you guys in general, like, here's the funny thing about it. And this is where, this is where the, the party hats kind of suck if you have the lowest party hat. Because, like, like for me in general, let's say if fucking I lost all my money on this game except my, my party hat. So I, I have nothing. I have like one fucking GP. And I have to make a fucking conscious decision. You know, and I really have to say to myself, okay, I can either have a party hat and have nothing... Or, I could downgrade my party hat to like a purple, or maybe, you know, a yellow or a green, and still have a good chunk of change, because if I were to downgrade from a red to a purple, that's 500 mil cash. If I were to downgrade to maybe like a yellow, that might be maybe like 100 or something mil, a green maybe like 200 mil. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a good chunk of change if you downgrade, you still have the party hat. Plus, you have money left over. So, for you guys out there that maybe get, like, you know, if you were to get a blue party hat for free, holy fucking shit titties. You downgrade to a white, you have one bill cash. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah, I mean, it's... 
it's, it's basically pretty much, it's kind of funny and ironic. Um, you know, but then again, if you're stuck with a purple party hat, you really have to make the conscious decision, okay, maybe if I sell it and downgrade to a red Halloween mask or a Santa, Santa hat, I still have a rare item and now I have a fuck ton of cash. But I'm basically pretty sure that every single person on this game would take a free party hat. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I, I'm not, I don't really know. The only motherfucker that would not take a free party hat um, is probably most likely the person that doesn't know anything about party hats. Like, for example, when my friend Adam started playing this game, Stockkeeper, as some of you guys, well, actually he did a name change to Abandoned Legend, but, um, <laughs> he didn't know what a party hat was, and he's like, hey, you know, I, I want one of these things. Can I have it? I'm like, no, and he didn't really comprehend that they were worth, <laughs> Woo! A lot of money. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was just, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, but anyways, yeah. Uh, that's basically pretty much about it. Alright guys, but basically pretty much like I said, I'll be doing Dung Bung a fucking Dungeoneering tonight. Uh, probably most likely going to need some people. Um, a couple friends of mine that normally I Dungeoneer with, because I normally Dungeoneer with maybe like one or two friends, then some of you guys. They're kind of getting sick of Dungeoneering, so... Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's becoming just myself and you motherfuckers, which is not a bad thing. It's just, you know, make new friends, etc., etc. But otherwise, right now I go to my email address. We have some happy hooba hooba questions from you motherfuckers. Ask number two who dot to drink many yoohoos because if you do drink too many yoohoos, well, the yoohoos will abandon you. <laughs> then you'll be left with nothing to drink except shitty water. Even though water is the key to life, but still. First hooba hooba question. Woo! Two nightmare age. Hey, what's up, man? Not too much. Great videos and keep up the work. Uh, good work. My question is I am in the process of trying to achieve. 99 uh, smithing. However, I am not sure what is the best way to approach it. My current level is 64 and I do not have a lot of cash to spend, only 6 mil. <laughs> Could you please suggest a good way to level up and not to spend a, a huge amount of money in the same process? Thanks, sorry's username, time to die. I actually know this motherfucker, he's actually in bloody gaming. Um, okay. What is... You have 6 mil cash. You can make money off smithing. <laughs> yes, you can. Ah, it's it's going to be a bitch, but you actually can do it. It's called achieving 99 mining, my friend. That is how you do it. You basically get 99 mining, or well, actually you get 17 mil EXP in, 99, in, in fucking mining. Then you use all your gold ore to smith to 99. It will take you probably about 220,000 gold ores. Yes, I know, it is fucking long and antagonizing, but if you do this, then you will achieve 99. <laughs> it will be awesome and sexy. That is the best suggestion I have for you. Um, otherwise, if you want to spend very little money, go to Stealing Creations, get a whole bunch of sacred clay hammers, and take it from there. But otherwise, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then you can thumbs up my butthole. Otherwise, I'll see you happy, motivated motherfuckers tomorrow. And if you got anything for me, you can leave a nasty little comment. Bye!